Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I am bringing you an inventory trailer. This is going to be a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye four horse gooseneck with the dual swing out saddle racks. So um, this tack setup, we, we like it here a lot and a lot of our customers have given us some good feedback on it just due to the fact if you've got more than one person you're taking with to go to a show or going up to the mountains, something like that, um, you're able to have people tack out of both sides of the trailer. So instead of everyone, you know, getting in the one tack room entrance, walking all the way around the trailer, saddling up their horse, stuff like that, you've got two areas to tack out of and just makes it more convenient and efficient for whoever's using the trailer. But we'll start right over here on the head side today. We've got the swing out saddle rack on that tack room door, or on the tack room, and then on the door we've got our swing out blanket pole and then the brush box down below. So these are removable, so if you only have a couple saddles and don't want all of them on here, you can take these out and take them off. And then they just push back in and it sits inside there. And when we go in from the other side, you'll see where that's sitting in there. Um, just very convenient to have this swing out saddle rack because then you're not trying to hop up in here Tripping over your latigo tripping over your cinch all that stuff. You're able to just swing it Right on there. So makes that a lot easier And then the way it goes in and out too is just super easy. It's just a gas shock up there that's being able to swing that in and out So over here on the head side, we've got our drop downs on all four windows so each drop down does have the jail bars and you'll see the jail bars each of them have this met or net mesh mesh netting sorry um so the the mesh here that comes in handy big time for your horse's safety and and stuff so you're gonna help prevent some rocks and some bugs and stuff like that from flying and hitting them in the face while you're going down the road and then everything is one-handed so i don't know if you just saw how i did that but it just comes down one-handed and then goes back up one-handed. So having that feature for me is a big one um, due to the fact if you're going on longer trips or when I go on longer trips, I like to make sure horses are good at pit stops. So if I'm stopping restroom, food, whatnot, I will open these up, check on horses, offer them more feed, offer them some water, um, anything like that. And being able to do so this way and not go through the back of the trailer just helps out big time because it's a safety precaution for me um, to not open up the back and potentially have a horse get out when you're next to an interstate or something. And then the drop downs. So I don't know if you just heard how solid that was when I closed it, but they are framed in drop downs. So very heavy duty and once again, one handed. So it's coming down just one handed and then they pop into place. And then that way they're not sitting there slapping against your trailer while you're driving. So we're gonna come around this way on this trailer. In the front here, we've just got our adjustable coupler. So this moves up and down so we can make sure you're riding as level as possible on your tow vehicle. Safety chains, um, and then our battery breakaway cables right there, and then your spare tires underneath. This one's just got the manual crank jack. If you're wanting to upgrade to the hydraulic or electric jack, we could definitely do that here in our service department. Um, something we can help you out with and get you something quoted on it. So over here on the other side, here's your other tack door, same kind of setup with the swing out saddle rack and then your blanket poles and then your brush box down below. So the blanket poles on each door, they actually unhook here and they swing. So that way, if you're trying to grab one from the middle or put one back on from the middle, it just makes it a lot easier being able to maneuver around um, and being able to swing that out and get them away from the door so you're not getting stuck and stuff. So up here in the tack room, actually come up in here, you'll see just how big it is. So we've got both these saddle racks in the stationary position. So this is the position they'd be in when we're driving. And then I will swing them both out to show you how much room you have with them swung out. So you're able to maneuver around, go all the way over to your tack, uh, um, or bridle wall, sorry. So, so over there on that partition wall, you've got your bridle hooks going all the way across and then the carpet down below. 
So a carpet down below is gonna help prevent some of that swishing and swaying. The bridles will do while you're driving, help keep them in good condition, and then help keep your trailer in good condition as well. And then over there in the corner, you can see this one's equipped with a 35 gallon water tank. So for me, being able to have water on board, that's a nice one because you know, you never know when you're gonna get stuck somewhere or you're gonna need water for you, your horses, your dogs, whoever you have with you. So having that water tank with just little safety, peace of mind, or if you're going to a day rodeo, don't wanna use their water there, don't wanna have something happen with a communal water tank, you can have your own water from home, bring it with you, and then you know your horses are gonna drink too. Um, that's a big one for me. And then above each tack door, we do have a light and then we do have light switches on each side. So no matter what tack door you're walking in, you're gonna be able to flip that light on and be able to see. So this trailer though, with the lights, um, you either gotta be hooked up to your truck or a tow vehicle and then um, be able to run the lights or we've gotta get you an external battery source. So that's definitely something we could do here for you too, if that is an option that you'll, you'll re, you would be looking for. And then up there in that gooseneck area is just extra storage space, or if you need to throw a mattress up there in a pinch, you definitely could very easily. So over here on the hip side of the trailer, we've got our bus windows. So these open up part way. So, well, let's see here. That one, I got it stuck right now. So I'll show you from the inside, but they open up part way. So you can kind of pick and choose how much airflow you want going through the trailer. And then we've got our ties down below. So you got four and those are bolted into the upright post. So, you know, your horse is gonna have to pull pretty dang hard and break this tie in order to get away. Um, so that's, that's nice. And that way you're not, you know, ruining the trailer or something. Up above, we've got an LED light. So you got one on each side of the trailer and that way tacking and untacking in the dark is a lot easier to do when you have lights to see. And then down below there, we've got two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. So those are a nice spoke wheel, um, just smaller ones. It, they, those look really neat with this trailer, the setup that we've been um, getting in with the aluminum wheels. They just look really good um, on these trailers. So Logan Coach, they come with an eight year structural warranty, two year hitch to bumper. So anything with good warranties to me is a good one um, just because they're willing to warranty their, their product out longer. That, that shows something to me that they are obviously take pride in what they do in their trailers and how they manufacture them. But here on the rear, you'll see we got a 50-50 door opening. Currently, we do not have a ramp on here, but that's definitely something we could do if you or your horse needs one or wants one. And then you got the other light up above. And then coming in here, I'll show you since we're down here. Um, on this one, we actually did the aluminum plank flooring with the um, whiz proof coating over top so that black coating you're seeing right here is gonna prevent any kind of urine from sitting and seeping into that aluminum and then eventually eating away at it. So having that coating over top will help prevent some of that. And then you do actually have the first step to getting the uh, sure grip flooring done. So if you wanted that poly last or sure grip, you have that first step already by having the aluminum planks and then having them coated too. And then we've got the rubber mats that come over top so that your horses are sitting on, sitting on a little bit of rubber is gonna help with um, the compression or, oh my gosh, sorry. Can't think of a word right now, but concussion that they're gonna do while going down the road because you will get some bumps and everything. So that's gonna help with that and then keep some shavings in the trailer too instead of falling down through those holes. So up here in the trailer, we've got our dividers and these all push over to the side. So if you needed to use this for anything other than just loading horses, if you need to use it for moving or loading up some dirt bikes, going up to the mountains, ATVs, something like that, you do have the option to push these over to the side and latch them. Or if you're on a slope and you're trying to load horses, you're not having your dividers trying to swing clothes on you so you're able to latch them over. So each divider is padded on each side. So pads, comfort for your horse for one. And then another one is gonna be, for me, the lighter colored horses. So your grays, your palominos, your 
paints um, horses with the lighter coats, if they're sitting there rubbing against this aluminum, eventually they will start to get kind of discoloration on them. So having the pads will help prevent some of that from happening. And then also just the comfort of ride for the horse by having the pads to lean against and sit on. So then this last divider is a telescoping divider. So in order to get this back door shut with these dividers pushed over to the side, this has to go in. So this telescopes in because if it weren't to do so, we wouldn't be able to close this back door and then you wouldn't be able to have them open. So it telescopes in by pulling up this little pin. I don't know if you can see that. And then just pushing that in and then pushes over to the side. And then super easy to undo. You just pull until that pin pops and then you can stick it back over on the side. So you will see on the right hand side, we've got lights over each stall be able to see loading unloading once again and then over each stall you also have the roof vents so those roof vents they push forward and they push backwards so if you push them forward they're going to help draw that air in push them back they're going to help draw the air back out and just keep that airflow going over your horse's heads and backs and just make sure they're staying cool and you know ready to hit the road so we'll Walk around here to the front so I can show you guys the stock number on this unit. Um, but we are sitting at six, nine wide. We're sitting at seven feet tall. And then we've got an on the floor length of 21 feet, three inches. So this one empty weight on it's gonna be 5,420 pounds. So, you know, majority of three quarter tons are gonna be able to pull this easily, but that's up to you on the customer to you know, double check your tow ratings with your vehicle, make sure that you are able to do so and that you're not overstressing the truck or the trailer. So stock number on this one we've got is 5N220097. Again, that's 5N220097. This is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye four horse gooseneck with the dual tack room entrance. Um, if you click the link below, you will go to this one on our website and then you can also browse our new and used inventory that we have. If you're looking, you know, for something specific or looking to get something built, please don't hesitate to reach out to us as well. Um, you can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email at morgan and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day